Aerial footage has now revealed that construction on the line has actually begun in Saudi Arabia. In recent months, there has been much debate about the project, with many claiming that it's overly complicated and that the chances of it being built are slim. But now that construction has officially started, could this be the start of the biggest mega project in human history? Or will the line turn out to be a pricey construction that will ultimately be abandoned? Time to find out. The line's exact design was revealed in July of 2022 by Saudi Arabia's Prince Mohammed bin Salman. He plans to build two parallel 500-meter tall walls made of reflective glass. These walls are expected to span across 170 kilometers of desert terrain. This would be the equivalent of building two lines, each consisting of 2,000 Shanghai World Financial Centers. When built, the line will not only become the most ambitious mega project ever, but also introduce a new way of life. Everything would be within a five minute walk. Therefore, no cars will ever be needed inside the city. Wind and solar farms would generate the city's energy, and any water used would come from a carbon-free desalination plant. The line would be the world's first carbon-free city as a result of all of this. While the trailers were viewed millions of times on YouTube, there were still many questions regarding what was actually happening on the construction site. As a result, Almost everyone assumed that the line was nothing more than a publicity stunt devised by Saudi Arabia to garner attention. But then, things took an unexpected turn. Three months after Mohammed bin Salman introduced the new project, construction began. On October 19, 2022, OT Sky released drone footage of the construction showing several excavators digging what appeared to be the outline of the new project in the desert. It is visible in the footage that the excavation already extends very far inland, very close to the mountains. The line, according to the official map on Neom's website, begins on the coast and extends inland. Based on what can be seen in the video, it's safe to say that it was probably taken somewhere here. That being said, the outline of the project could already extend 10 to 20 kilometers inland. Furthermore, more infrastructure is being constructed around the entire project. There are numerous developments visible on Google Maps. According to Neom's official website, the plan is to build an entire site with offices and camps near the mountains, as well as a Neom community with swimming pools, a football field, and a Neom Experience Center. These images aren't up to date. There are most likely many more by now. So now that construction has really started, what will be the outcome? We have never really seen a mega project like the line. So we can only speculate on how it will turn out. However, we can conclude that there are four possible outcomes. Outcome number one. The line's construction comes to a complete halt in a few months or years, and the project gets abandoned. Like the Jeddah Tower and the Dubai Creek Tower, it can become a project whose construction status becomes unknown. Both projects were heavily promoted, featuring stunning renderings. Several months after construction began, everything came to a halt, and no progress has been made since. However, given that the line is supported by the Saudi Arabian government and has received widespread attention around the world, this appears to be an unlikely outcome. As of today, most people who visit Saudi Arabia do so to fulfill a pilgrimage to Mecca. Therefore, completing the line could be a great opportunity to attract more tourists and investors to Saudi Arabia. Outcome number two. Given that they have already begun construction, the line could be repurposed or simply scaled down to a similar size. Since the line is being built in five-minute walk segments, the construction company may choose to build the mega project in stages. This will allow Saudi Arabia to base the line's progress on public demand. In addition, the line's height could be reduced, making the project more realistic and easier to build. After all, the concept of vertical living can still be implemented even if the line ends up being half its intended height. 
If completed, even if built on a much smaller scale, the line could be the world's first modern car-free city, introducing the world to an entirely new way of living. Cities are constantly trying to reduce emission rates. However, governing bodies have always tried to reduce car usage rather than completely eliminating cars. A city without cars doesn't seem feasible, which is why trying to change this could be incredibly complicated. Saudi Arabia intends to eliminate the use of automobiles by making all basic amenities within walking distance. Now, you may be thinking, what about longer journeys? A proposed underground railway system for the entire line is part of the project. People who move to the line may find themselves living in the proposed high-tech society, although on a much smaller scale. The line has the opportunity to push past boundaries and become the first large city in the 21st century with zero cars. But will it? Only time will tell. The third scenario is that Saudi Arabia heavily invests in its current plan and achieves what it promised in its highly viewed trailers. Certain aspects, such as not having cars, generating 100% renewable energy, and implementing the concept of vertical living are certainly feasible. However, the prospective outcome of the project appears to be unachievable. Building 2,000 Shanghai World Financial Centers, which took 10 years to build, twice over is undoable. The project would essentially consist of building two continuous strips of 2,000 Shanghai World Financial Centers parallel to each other. Using simple math, this would put a time frame of over 30,000 years to complete the entire 170-kilometer line. Of course, Saudi Arabia would build it much faster because they could begin working on multiple parts at once, but the scale of the project is very apparent it would basically take centuries to complete. The fourth outcome could be that the line simply becomes the world's largest mirror. After all, the walls will be made of reflective glass, which creates an interesting and unique contrast with the surrounding desert. The reflective wall has already attracted well-known influencers. It will have no issue becoming a tourist attraction in Saudi Arabia if it ends up being repurposed. So which of these outcomes is most likely to happen? If we base our answer on what experts believe, building the line is not an easy project, particularly in a reasonable time frame. Anthony Vivis, chief urban planning officer at NEOM, told CNBC, I want to be clear about this. NEOM is a complex, bold, and highly ambitious undertaking, and is most certainly not an easy one to deliver. But we are making strong progress, and it's exciting to see the vision come to life. So. What are your thoughts? Will the line ever be completed now that construction has begun? Or will this mega project meet the same fate as some of its predecessors and get abandoned? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and supporting our videos, and we hope to see you again soon.